What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Black walkthrough. Okay, so in the last episode, we managed to defeat Berg for our third badge, the Insect Badge, called it the Bug Badge, don't know why. And uh, now it is time to leave Castelia City in all its glory and uh, go battle our best friend, Bianca, and then maybe, just maybe, battle our uh, frenemy, uh, Cher Cheren, and all that stuff, you know. Because eventually, you know, when we battle Bianca, we have to battle Cheren. You know, vice versa, all that kind of crap. Yeah, so, let's go right ahead. And, uh, yeah, last episode as well, you know, uh, our good old buddy, uh, uh, Hotshot. He defeated everybody, destroyed everybody with his uh, powerful flames and all that stuff. Now, what I'm going to do right here is I'm actually going to buy a few lemonades just because, uh, yeah, we're going to, yeah, we're in for a big one right here. Actually, we're in for a lot of a lot of stuff right here. We're going to be going through the desert. A buttload of desert before we even get into Nimbasa City. It's going to be a long, 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 long trip, guys. So I hope you guys are ready for all that stuff. And it, yeah, we're going to be splitting these into episodes as well. So yeah, well, that's, uh, that's, that's always fun right there. So going in to the last part right here, we already uh, completed everything. I think there is something right here, right? No, there's nothing right there. Crud. Okay, so going into the entrance... We're going to be stopped by our good old buddy right here, Bianca, potential future girlfriend right here. Hey, Draven, you remember the promise uh, the promise you made me uh, with the cross transceiver, right? I didn't really make a promise, I just, you know, I nodded and agreed, I nodded and agreed. So let's get right to our battle right here. But before that, she's going to talk to the lady right here, question mark, all that stuff, exclamation point, and she's coming straight to us, and she's like, they say we can have a Pokemon battle in the game, as long as we're careful not to break the electronic bulletin board. Um, the new and improved version of me. It's gonna be a great time to do this time. Let's start our Pokemon battle. Okay, so here it is, guys, another Pokemon battle against our BFF, our Biffle, Bianca, slash future girlfriend right here. Look at that, she's looking all... She's wondering what the hell's going on right now. She's trying to pull that Pokeball. And here she comes out with her good old buddy, Herdier. Oh, look at that. She's got a female Herdier. I got myself a male Herdier. Hey, Bianca, you know, we can, uh, we can have uh, baby Herdiers here. You know, that kind of stuff. You know, your Stoutland from Scotland and my Stoutland from Scotland. You know, that kind of stuff. So let's go right ahead. Uh, Water Pulse. Now, I, yeah, I completely forgot that I don't have a fighting type move just yet. And look at that, it's takedown attack was going to do something, and yeah, she's trained tough, but she's not tough enough yet, to look at that, and, well, this is a first, she's actually, she actually, uh, yeah, she's healing up her Pokemon, that's good, that's very, very good, so here we go again, water pulse attack, and, uh, takes it back down to where it was, and, uh, well, here comes another super potion, oh my god, oh my god, okay, so here we go, razor shell, let's get this. Yeah, you know what? This was probably a good time for me to use Fury Cutter, but... Yeah, me being the bonehead that I am, didn't do that. So there it is. Herdier has been defeated. Drillmonger gets some experience points, and here she comes out, or... Yeah, with the Pants Age. So, I'm gonna go with Hot Shot. Oh yes, this beast of a Pokemon. You know, this little tiny tank right here is going to destroy her. It's going to make her regret everything she said. I shouldn't really say anything bad. I'm just gonna teach her, you know, that, look, this is how you battle, baby. You know, get up in my level, but don't worry, I will protect you always. Unlike Sharon right there, you know, that dickhead, you know, that kind of guy. So, let's move on right here. Let's go with Shadar, right here. Okay, Shadar. Let's get this. Shadar! Go with the Muna, and the Muna is coming out with the Muna. And, um, she's at, well, forewarned, and, uh, yeah, there's that brick break that is being forewarned, but I'm gonna use Faint Attack, because he will not miss, and it's a Dark-type move, look at that, nearly takes out Muna, and, uh, well, I don't know why you would use him prison right here, so, let's finish it off again, Faint Attack, for the win, Gattaca, yeah, buddy, look at that, and, uh, look at that, Moxie. Get yourself a Pokemon with Moxie, guys. It, it, it always works. Now, let's see. It's, she's going to be coming out with a Pig Knight. I wish I could be using uh, Shedder just a little bit more, but nah, I can't do that. So let's go with Drillmonger right here. Why Drillmonger instead of uh, instead of uh, a Sigh of the, of the Torrent? Well, you guys will see it just a little bit because I kind of want to I kind of want to evolve Drillmonger eventually. I think it evolves at like level 30 or something. So here we go. Dig Attack. You won't do crud to me. Look at this. And it's using that defense girl. 
You won't do nothing. You can't do nothing. You won't do nothing. So here we go. Dig attack. For the win. Yeah, buddy. Nearly takes him out, and uh, oh crud, here comes that flame charge that we've been worrying about just a little bit right there. Look at that. It, now it speeds it up just a tad bit too. So we have a uh, we have a conundrum right here, but Kofi, yeah, that's right. Dig attack. Look at that. Yeah, buddy. Oh yes, and Drillmonger doesn't get hit, but he does hit. Ah, break. Don't hit back. That's right. Drillmonger, victorious. Fatality. Look at that. Drillmonger, level 23. That is always good. And I trained with Iris, but I still couldn't win. Well, that's because Iris sucks. She really does. As a training partner, as an exploring partner, and all that stuff. And and, and she's feeling bad, but you know what? It's okay. You will be stronger than Charon. You will be stronger than Iris for sure. But you will never defeat me. But still, I'm on your side. I'm still... I got your back, girl. I got your back. I'll never be a strong Charon like you, Charon, or Iris. But... You know, since we left uh, Nuvema Town, I've been uh, I've met a lot of people, and I've been uh, thinking about what I want to do in life. When you look at the when you look at it that way, Pokemon have given me a lot new more or a lot new experiences. Having my Pokemon stolen was just really hard, and I felt really unsure. Still, I gotta say I'm really glad I uh, I went. I've learned so much on this journey, and I also learned that being a uh, Pokemon or being with the Pokemon uh, is really really important. Okay, well, I hope to see you soon again. Bye-bye, Draven. See you later, girl. Take care. That's right. She's one of my favorite characters. She really is. She's one of my favorite characters. I have no qualms about her. But Barry on the other side. That guy I hate. Screw that guy. Okay, so, uh, let's see. We got another battle coming. You guys already know what's going to go on right here. And I'm going to go straight to Ace right here because he didn't get any action. We need to get action, guys. Lots and lots of action. So, let's go right ahead and, uh, well, let's see. I'm going to use up the potions that I bought because eventually we're not going to be using potions anymore. We're going to go to the good stuff, like the supers, the hypers, the mechs. You know, that kind of stuff. And then, uh, well, just go straight forward right here and you will see Shiren. And he's going to be telling you, do not challenge me. Hey, Draven. I've been waiting for you, uh, for you to get the insect badge. And now it's time to see which one of us is stronger. Mm, well, this is easy. This is very, very easy. I am the strongest in the world right now, so bring it. That's right, Sharan would like to battle, and he will be coming out with a P Dove. Okay, maybe I, I chose I chose the right the right Pokemon. Let's go, Ace. Do this. That's right. Ace is looking all pretty strong right here, and I think Ace has an effect when it's in a sandstorm, right? Hold on. I gotta check this. I gotta check this out right here. So, let's see. Summary. It, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, Sand Rush. Boosts the Pokemon speed in a sandstorm. So I am going to destroy you, Pete of, with a takedown attack because I'm faster than you here in the sandstorm. This is my domain. And here it comes with the Leer attack. Okay, I see what you're doing right there. Thinking you can beat me right there. And uh, yeah, you're buffed buffed it by the sand. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and go with that crunch. Here we go. For the win. Yes, sir, Reba. Look at that. Pete of has defeated. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. And, uh, well, he's going to be coming out with a Servine. So let's just go ahead and go with Ace. You know, Ace deserves a few more battles, especially against this guy. I am faster than you. So let's go with a crunch attack. And, uh, yes, I am faster than you. In this location right here. Alrighty. And, uh, look at that. Your defense has fallen. Of course, you're going to seed me. Won't do any more, any anymore, because you know what? I know which move I'm gonna use next: the takedown attack and crud. Uh, I think we're gonna get hit twice. I don't even know. Let's see. Okay, so let's go takedown attack. Let's get it. Yeah, buddy. No more Servine. That's right, Servine. You got nothing. And uh, well. He's going to be coming out with a Pampor, so now it is time for me to switch right here because I don't want Ace to, you know, relinquish any kind of more energy. So, let's go to Shadar. That's right. Let's go to Shadar. Okay. You know what to do, Shadar. Do not be afraid of this Pokemon right here. Uh, let's go with a Brick Break. And, uh, crud. Forgot, not that, not faster than this Pokemon, but still, we got something right here. Look at this. Brick Break. For the win, that's right, and we're both hit. Yeah, sandstorms. 
I think the place, the absolute, the place that I hate the most, to, or any like weather effects that I hate the most is Sandstorm because usually I don't have the right or the specific Pokemon for the whole occasion. I'm always hit. It takes a long time. It just, it just bugs me, guys. It really does. Like many of uh, of you guys out there. Now we're getting buffed by the Sandstorm again, and here he comes out with the Lifebird. So let's continue on with Shadar right here. And, uh, well, we're taking a risk right now, but let's go with the Brick Break, and here comes that Fury Swipes, crud. CRUD BASKETS! No! Okay, you win this battle right here, you asshole Lifebird. Okay. I'm going with the man, the myth, the legend. Let's go with Drillmonger. Mainly because we won't be affected by the sand. That's right. And we're probably a little faster than you, so let's go with the Home Claws right here. Ah, ah, so you're throwing that sand attack, but little do you know. Home Claws boosts up my attack and my accuracy. That's right, look at that. I'm honing these claws, sharpening these little bastards right here. Look at that, accuracy has rose. So it's back to the same level again, and let's get this Metal Claw. Crud. Seriously, cut it out. God, I hate sand attack. And here we go. That's right. Critical hit. Eat that. That's right. And look at that. Drillmonger grows to level 24. It's a good level right there for my Pokemon. Impressive, but why can't I win? Because you suck, Sharon. You suck. You really do. Okay. It's now clear to me. The reason you are tough is the trust between you and your Pokemon. But that shouldn't be the problem. I can get more out of Servine and, and, and my other Pokemon too. And then our crush friend Seaver is ringing. Look at that. We're getting a phone call. Who could it be? And here it is. Oh, the professor. Hello there. Draven, do you have a second? Professor Juniper, do you need something? I called Bianca too, but I guess she couldn't uh, she didn't hear the call. I wonder what what she's caught up in. Well, I suppose I'll just uh, have to call her again later. Okay, I'll be waiting for you in front of the gate in the Mbasa City. Um, hello? Okay, so that just yeah. Mbasa's uh, city gate is straight down Route 4. Okay, so that's pretty much where we have to go to right now. So, um, let's see. Eh, well, uh, I could go to the Pokemon uh, Center to get healed up and everything. But there is an area right here where we can actually heal our Pokemon. So, that is not needed. So, what we're going to do here first is, yeah, we're going to be battling a bunch of people around here into this whole section. And then uh, we're going to be going into the Desert Resort afterwards in the next episode. So, that's the plan right there, guys. And uh, there we found an X accuracy. I think this is the place right here where we can actually uh, heal up our Pokemon. I think. Let's see. Oh, yes. Rest our Pokemon. Yes, sir. We're healing up our Pokemon. Okay, so everybody's healed. And, uh, well, now it is time to move on to the next uh, area right here. Now, this is the place where I actually captured both Shatter and Hotshot. Um, there are other Pokemon here, too, that you can find. One being Sandile. Uh... Best recommendation for you guys is to get a sand dial that knows Moxie because boom, it will actually uh, it will actually sp or uh, spruce up the whole attack uh, the whole attack that you guys have right there. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to be battling people right here. You've got my uh, powerful hook, which is me. I'll have a battle with you using freshly caught Pokemon. That's right. Okay, so here we are, guys. Battling a fisherman for the first time in quite some time. Yeah, you, there's not a lot of water here. It really isn't. So, anywho, guys, uh, well, I wonder how you guys are doing outside here, especially around the world. Now, as I'm recording this, this is March 19th. Now, now last night, I'm gonna rant about a little something here, and it, it, it's something about the coronavirus. So, uh, last night, the 19th. Yeah, my town, the city that I'm in, eh, got a, an order to shut down everything. So, I've been stuck at home for the last 12 hours, doing nothing except doing Pokemon videos, which is somewhat good, maybe somewhat bad. I don't even know, guys. I really don't know. But as many of you guys already know, I'm a I'm a personal trainer outside of here, and uh, being one, I I I don't like being at home all the time. I like being active, I like doing stuff, you know, that kind of stuff right there, but the executive order, really. So now we have to practice social distancing and all that stuff, so uh, yeah, that right there is a, uh, that right there is kind of annoying because, you know, 
everything's everything not just me but everybody has been put on pause so if you guys are watching this episode it doesn't matter what country you're from you know you could be from Europe Asia North or South America Africa even Africa I think I have fans in Africa uh, let me know you guys' stories down below. I mean, my story right now is that, well, I'm kind of isolated. I, I'm, uh, I kind of have to isolate myself at home, make sure that, you know, I'm cleaning, which I'm always cleaning and all that stuff. So that's the, that's the thing right there. So if you guys have any stories about your experiences right now with the COVID-19 thing, eh, just comment down below. You know, just keep us uh, entertained and all that stuff tier too, because everybody has a story. It's not just me, guys. It's the whole world. It's annoying. It really is. Now back to the battle right here. We're we're facing off another Basculin right here. God dang it! I hate Basculin. God damn. Yeah. Uh, now Basculin. Well, I was, well, I was battling this guy right here. Oh god. Yeah. Basculin was a little tough cookie to to battle. It is fast too because of the Aqua Jet and. Uh, well, there it is. Okay, so... Okay, we're getting buffed by the storm, and uh, we gotta go with one more Grass Knot right here. Now, uh, I did mention in previous episodes, one of my one of my Pokemon selections was going to be uh, Levani, but I, I, you know, I kind of thought against it, mainly because it was like, okay, so what's the deal with Levani? You have to power... You have to, like, fully evolve it through friendship. So technically speaking, I'd be struggling just a little bit with its second form, which kind of sucks. So you know, it, I didn't really see any. I didn't really see any kind of like benefit in having a Levani or you know the Levani the Levani line or anything like that. So uh, comment down below with that one too. If if I made the right choice, the wrong choice, I really don't know, guys. You know, this is like the fourth time I'm playing Pokemon Black. I learned things off of you guys too, and uh, yeah, I'm getting buffed by this goddamn storm. How many Basculins do you have, you asshole? Jesus. Okay, so there it is, another uh, Basculin right there. Look at this. That's right. Alrighty. And uh, you're, you're hitting me with this bite attack. We're buffed. You're buffed. And there we go. Thank you, Sandstorm. You actually did something for me. And uh, there comes another... Oh, god dang it. Okay. Alright, let's do this. Another Grass Knot for the win. And no worries, we can always go back to the house to, you know, get healed up and everything. And look at that. Sigh of the Torrent has been kicking ass. Everybody's ass. All that ass. That's right, buddy. Okay, so, let's see. Oh, yeah, one one more thing right here. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think I need to register. Yes, the dowsing machine I need to register because in this area right here, you can find some, some hidden items right there. Uh, as you can see. Oh, there we go. Right there. So we found ourselves a pearl. You know, it's very, very good for you to actually sell for some extra money right there that you don't have. And, uh, let's see. Now we gotta go back straight to this house right here and just, uh, heal up our Pokemon. Because, you know what? It's always nice to heal Pokemon right here. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Yes, we are worn out. Please heal me. Especially my side of the torrent. Alrighty. Okay. So, let's... Oh, wow. It's detecting something. Uh, the repel has worn off. Crud. Make sure to bring a lot of repels too, guys, because there will be a Pokemon here that's going to be bugging you. And, uh, well, we bought ourselves a nice amount of, uh, super repels right there. And, uh, actually, first and foremost, yeah, there's an item right here somewhere. I think it's an Ultra Ball, because I've already been here before. There we go. Yes, we found ourselves an Ultra Ball. And, uh, well, I think this is a spot that where you can actually find a Breviary or Breviary. Well, I don't even know how to... Uh, you can find that in Pokemon Black and White, too, and look at that, a Great Ball. Okay, so we're stocking up on Pokeballs here. Alright, so I gotta... I gotta switch out my Pokemon right here, so who needs more? Let's go with Shadar right here. Shadar. A lot of you guys have been asking, where do you come up with all these nicknames for all these Pokemon? It's funny, guys. Uh, I just think I'm up right on the spot. Uh, let's see, Pokemon Yellow, I... I kind of already knew what I wanted to nickname my Pokemon, except for Tank. Yeah, Tank was just like, you know, right there out of the blue. <laughs> it was the appropriate Pokemon I actually have for the team and all that crud. Uh, Pokemon like, like, uh, what was it? Uh, like, my, uh, what, what, what's his name again? Uh, my Oshawa and Duat. Uh, it just came off of me watching cartoons here, especially during the, during the whole quarantine thing. Uh, 
watching Ronin Warriors. Made sense, since it does have Torrent and all that stuff. And it, it evolves into like some kind of a... Some, uh, somewhat of a samurai Pokemon, so it was like it made sense right there. Uh, some Pokemon make sense, some don't. Don't judge me, guys. Of course, Hydra. Uh, Hydra number one through four. We won't be having five on this one if, you know, if I'm not mistaken. I could have a fifth one right here. I don't even know, guys. But, yeah, the, the whole nicknaming thing, I'm not really that good. Eventually, you know, once you know, I get more subscribers, more, uh, uh, more Twitter followers, and all that stuff, then I can ask you via that. That way, you guys can like, you know, have an opinion on what I should nickname my Pokemon. And look at that! Look at that Moxie attack, the Moxie effect, I think. And uh, Drillmonger grows a level 25. That's good. Okay, so Drillmonger is at an appropriate level right here. So let's go ahead and take that out, and uh, let's go ahead and give it to. Another Pokemon that needs it, so let's give this to Shadar, right there. And uh, give that scope lens to somebody else, which would probably be Drillmonger right here. Alrighty, and, uh, well, let's go ahead and, uh, you know what, let's go ahead and use Sigh of the Torrent right here, because most of these Pokemon right here are ground types, may never know. And, uh, let's see, there's a guy waiting for us right there, so let's go ahead and grab this item here first. And here we have a Hyper Potion. Always good. Very, very good. And, uh, let's see, there's nothing right here. Now, this place will eventually be created, I think, in Pokemon Black or White 2. I can't remember which one it was. But you will actually get to see a, a full-blown city right here. My way of life is dynamic. This guy's probably an ele electrician or something. I don't even know. Alright, bring it. No, it's a worker. It's a worker, Gus. Gus, what's up, Gus? And he is coming out with the rock and roller. Okay. Bring it with the rock and roller. Okay. Of course, rock and roller does have that sturdy thing, so it will not faint in the first turn. So I'm just going to hit it with a grass knot right here. It shouldn't be that heavy, right? Yes, it's heavy, but that sturdy will prevent it from fall well, from fainting and all that stuff. And, uh, well, there we go with a sand attack. Gotta love that sand attack and the sandstorm. Let's go again, Grass Knot. Damn it! And, uh, well, there you go. Sigh of the Torrent is getting. Yeah, he's getting blinded and, and hit, pummeled with the, the sandstorm right here. So let's go, Water Pulse. Come on! Yes! When in doubt, use Water Pulse. Yeah, buddy, look at that. Rog and Rolla has been fainted. That's right, eat it, Rog and Rolla. And uh, more buffeting. Okay, so we're gonna continue on right here with Rog and Rollas. God dang it, these Rog and Rollas. Eventually it evolves into like a pretty tanky Pokemon. Um, let's see, what? It? Yeah, you can evolve the Pokemon through a tray of Gilith or something. That's what it was called, yeah. Pretty cool Pokemon right there. Ah, oh, crud, here we go again. And uh, I believe the accuracy is just going down, so now... I may, I may be forced to actually uh, switch out my Pokemon right here, yeah. Fainted, no, not fainted, but avoided. And, uh, yeah, we're getting hit twice. Come on! Water Pulse, yes! Eat it, Rog and Rolla. Yeah, buddy. That's right, that's how you do it right there. Look at that. Every little thing ca counts, and we're still getting hit by, by freaking uh, Sandstorm. So, what we're going to do is go to Steaming Hot Hotshot right here. Mainly because yeah, it's a one-hit KO, probably. It's, it's a tank of a Pokemon, it really is. Hot Shot. Hotshot came to me. What? How did, why did I nickname Hotshot Hotshot? I don't even know. Ah, oh, crud. It's using Bide. Okay. And it avoided the attack, and we're getting buffed. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. What should we do? Let's use Workup. That way, this guy is still storing some uh, some uh, some power right here, and I'm just working it up. Look at that. Oh yeah, we're beefing up right here. That's right. The attack and special attack has gone up, and we're still getting hit by a, by a sandstorm. So let's go with a fire punch, and you failed. Here we go, fire punch. Oh yes, timber. It's like it's just like the wooden thing. Timber and Shadar grows to level 21, which is always great. It's very very good. Okay, so we got a little hidden item here, and uh, let's see, more trainers. So I have to find that item right here. Oh, it's right here. There it is. Found ourselves a burn heal. I wonder if I could go upstairs right here. Let's see. No. Can't. Uh, okay, so I gotta... 
I gotta make sure to heal my Pokemon right here too. Let's see, where 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 are these healing items right here? Okay, so I already used up all the potions. Let's go ahead and use the super potions. Let's go with Sign of the Torrent and Shadow right here. Look at that. They're all healed up. Okay, so let's go right ahead and continue battling right here. Another thing that I hate about sandstorms, or just yeah, sandstorms for that for that matter, is that I believe the ground some ground type Pokemon gain some kind of like you know an extra boost from the whole location, but they tend to freaking use sand attack all the time, and I kind of feel like sand attack in a sandstorm it makes it so much worse. That's why you know you know with Psy, that's why I lost so much HP right there. And, uh, oh crud, Sandstorm has kicked up. So let's go right ahead and use a Water Pulse right here. Oh, yeah. Take that. Will it do it? Yes, it does. There we go. Faint. Just faint. Look at that. Impotence. That's, a, that's another word right there that I haven't used. And uh, just quite the trainer. Okay, so there is an item right here that we need to find. And our repel has worn off right here. So we're really, really close to where we need to be. Remember, guys, this is going to be two episodes of the sandy areas. Trust me, guys, I'm not happy about it. Probably neither of you guys. And look at this. We got ourselves a TM41 Torment. I don't know what that move does, but it sounds good. Let's see. It's right here somewhere. Okay, so it should be up here. Okay, it's right there. And we found ourselves an ether. Okay, that's good. Add it to the collection when we need to battle some uh, pretty strong Pokemon trainers right here, too. Okay, so let's move on right here. We got a big, fat area that we need to take on. And uh, after that, I believe is the next episode. Yes, it is. Okay, so here we go. Moving on, moving on, moving on. Don't know why I used up the super potions, but I'm just going to be moving on right here. So let's see. We got a trainer right here. Deep in the desert ahead here at the desert resort there are some ruins that have uh, become a little tourist destination I oh, thank you for letting me know right there and uh, before we battle that guy let's go ahead and grab a burn heal it's always nice to have right okay so let's see what do you gotta what do you gotta do right here okay well at a time like this let's have a Pokemon battle bring it okay I'm doing my part right here. So, here we go. Challenge challenged by a Backpacker King, and he will be coming out with a Darumaka. Okay, so I chose correctly right here. This is going to be quick work right now. Very, very quick work. Okay, so, let's see. We got a Sandstorm kicking up right here. And here we go. Let's go with the Water Pulse right now. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yes. Get it. That's right. It may be a tank of a Pokemon, but it... It, it really sucks. It really sucks when it comes to water type Pokemon. Look at that. Easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh god, my, my phone just like fell off. <laughs> oh man, okay. So let's see. Who is next? I'm doing the whole gold brick thing. Who's next? And there we found another ether. Okay, alrighty. Alright, so that's always good right there. And uh, well, let's go right ahead and use another super uh, repel. Maybe off screen, I'm probably going to buy some more because the next area that we're going to be going to is going to be a little bit larger than this place right here. So let's go ahead and battle this lady right here. Let's see what she has to say. My travel partner is Pokemon that our popular guidebook direct mend. Oh, I didn't even read that correctly, but yeah, you know what I mean. Okay, so here we go. Backpacker Anna coming on, and she's coming with her uh, Katani. I got the move for this one right here. I got the move. Alright, here we go. And of course, Sandstorm hitting us, pelting us with everything it has. And here we go. Fury Cutter! Let's get this! And uh, we avoided a Stun Spore. Alrighty. Okay. And there we go. We're getting buffed by uh, more, more stuff. And here we go. Crud! It avoided the... Jesus Christ. Alrighty. So, let's see. Okay. Oh, crud. Oh, crud. Okay, so let's go again with another Fury Cutter. Jeebus criminy. Okay. That's not cool, man. That's not cool. Okay, so here we go. It can't move. God dang it. Uh, oh, God. Okay, so let's try this one more time. Oh, man. It's speed going down. Uh, Jeebus. Okay. You know what? Screw you, Cottony. 
You asshole Pokemon. All right, let's go. Let's go to the main man right here. Let's go with Hotshot. I'm going to destroy you. Why Cottony? I don't know. Okay, so here we go. Hotshot. And, uh, well, of course, we're already slow as it is. Ah, God. Fuck you, Cottony. You know what? You're going to faint with the Sandstorm. I don't care. Let's go with the Fire Punch. And we avoid that thing. Now, if we would have gotten hit by a uh, stun spore, no worries, we got facade. It's gonna work even more. That's right. Alrighty, so I uh, defeated her, and uh, yeah, your guideberg cannot teach you how to, uh, how to Pokemon battle right here. So again, healing items—they are the best uh, best friend right here when you're going on an adventure into the desert or going up against a, any kind of grass type Pokemon right here. So let's move on. There's another trainer right there waiting for us. And she's just looking at us right now. She could be like, I'm going to talk to you. Where did you come from? Me? Well, if you can win, I'll tell you. All right. Bring it. Let's do this. All right. 30 minutes. 30 minutes long. Let's do this. Okay. Okay. So we're going up against a Petalil. More than likely, we're going to be getting a, another... Another paralysis or something like here. I don't even know. So let's go, Fury Cutter. Come on. Destroy. And just become more powerful. And here comes a Mega Drain. Uh oh, jeez. Okay, so that was a lot of uh that was a lot of HP. The next one could probably kill us right here. Alright, so let's go again. Another Fury Cutter. Let's go. It's gonna become a, a lot stronger. Yeah, buddy. And there he goes, Petalil defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay, these grass, these these uh, these these pack packers are, are, you know, they have grass type Pokemon and all that stuff. So let's go again. Another super potion, healing up our sigh of the torrent right here. And uh, well, let's see. Crud! I was gonna get that item. Man, they always turn right when we want to get an item. The fun of traveling around the world is having a serious battles with a lot of Pokemon I met. Or meat. Or whatever. I don't even know. Here we go! Bring it. Okay. Alrighty. Let's go. Let's get this. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Here we go. It going up against a Blitzel right here. Now, I also mentioned. I also mentioned uh, in another episode that I wanted to actually get Blitzel on my team, and I did that off screen with uh, I did that off screen with my other Pokemon Black game, you know, the real DS and all that stuff. And uh, I came to find out that Blitzel's not really that it's not that good of a Pokemon to actually have on your team, uh, not that strong or anything. I mean, I've used it in the past when uh, when I did the last two Pokemon Black walkthroughs, uh, did that. The only thing that I think the only thing that I used it for was for that flame charge that it that sped, sped it up and everything, but that was pretty much it right there. Uh, Blitzel, good looking Pokemon, not that great as uh, you know as a as a traveling Pokemon for you. So it is what it is. All right, so let's grab this item right here, and we found ourselves another super potion, which is always great. And uh, well, let's see, we can't move here. Okay, so moving on ahead, I think. Okay, so that. Right there will lead you to Nimbasa City, but what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna be going straight over here. Um, yeah, we're gonna stay right here, guys. In the next episode, uh, you know what? No, screw it. We're not gonna stop. We're gonna battle this guy because it's gonna be a long, long episode right here. Okay, so let's just battle. See, I almost stopped the episode just because, but no, I kind of want to minimize the minutes on the next one. So here we go. Worker Scott would like to battle, and he's coming out with his Rock and Rolla. Hmm. Okay, Rock and Roller. Let's see, let's see how awesome you are. Let's see how awesome you are. Let's go. And Sigh of the Torrent about to grow to level 27 right here, so let's go ahead and use Water Pulse. Okay, Water Pulse does it. Eh, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. And yes, that whole thing right there. Okay. And, uh. Oh, crud. Okay, Sandstorm. You gotta love the Sandstorms right there, so here we go. Yeah, buddy. There we go. Finish. Alrighty. Okay, and uh, look at that. Side of the Torrent grows to level 27. And uh, now we got another Pokemon coming out right here. So let's go ahead and... Uh, let's see. Hmm. I want to use Ace, but Ace is going to faint right here. So let's go with Hotshot. 
Okay. Let's go. Bring it. Alrighty. Let's bring it. Right here. Fire punch. And yes, my quick claw has uh, has risen. And there we go. Fire punch for the win. Oh yes. Look at that. Easy. Okay. Alrighty. So we're doing something right there. Okay, so I think we're, we have another worker here. Yeah, we have plenty of trainers, so we're going to be here for quite a while. A battle is like a construction project. They're both a piece of cake to me. Really? Well, let's see about that. Let's go ahead and test that uh, that little uh, theory that you have right there. Okay, bring it! And there it is. Timber wants the battle, but I got myself my guy right here. Sigh of the Torrent. Okay. Alrighty. Let's go right ahead and use that razor shell. Let's get it. Alrighty. Oh, crud. How are you faster than me? How did you... Well, oh, god dang it! Alright, come on, razor shell. Don't be a dick. Come on, razor shell. Yeah! And that's how you do it, guys. That is how you make it happen. Worker Zack, you got nothing on me. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, so, let's see, uh, oh, okay, so if you go into this house right here, I think you get an item right here somewhere. Talk to this guy, I don't mean to brag, uh, to brag, but I, I'm a dig pro. I'll give you this TM so you can use it too, and we get ourselves the TM28 dig, which is a very, very good move. I mean, you know, drill, uh, Drillmonger has it. And then, uh, sandstorms are terrible, but rock, rock type, ground type, and steel type Pokemon can weather a sandstorm without damage. This is true. So friggin' true. And, uh, well, let's see. We got a lady here waiting for us. So, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon and go with Ace right here. Ace could probably do the job right now. Let's see. Talk to her. Ruins buried in the desert. It's like a ground adventure uh, in a story, which is true. And look at that. The highway. Look at that. The trucks, man. This is like one of the best things you can see. So, we're going to stop right here now, okay? For sure, for sure, we're going to stop right here. In the next episode, we're going to be going through the res uh, the desert resort and, uh, you know, maybe, maybe making, making, making another addition right there, guys. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.